you know, starting on time feels kind of weird. I feel like I should be lying in bed for two hours, maybe even stream Cyberpunk for two before I could even think about doing Advent of Code. But today will not be that day. We are going to hop right into day 14. With uh, actually, so someone mentioned that this is a map, which you know I can't believe. But that um, it is heavily distorted. But that these are, um, I think the, can the Canaries and these are the Azores, and uh, this could be either this could be Portugal. Um, so this will be the, the bottom left corner of Iberia. I don't know, but it could be. Anyway, let's get into masking. As your ferry approaches the seaport, the captain asks for help. Again, the computer system that runs this port isn't compatible with the docking program on the ferry, so the docking parameters aren't being correctly initialized. After a brief inspection, you discover that the seaport's computer uses a strange bit mask in its initialization program. Although you had, don't have the correct decoder chip handy, you can emulate it. The initialization program, your input, can either update the bit mask or write a value to memory. Values of memory addresses are both 36-bit unsigned integers. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, sure. For example, ignoring bit mask for a moment, a line like mem811 would write the value 11 to memory address 8. So... Value of memory addresses are both 36-bit unsigned integers. Okay. The bit mask was always given as a bit of 36 strings. Sorry, the bit mask always given as a string of 36 bits, written with the most significant bit on the left and the least on the right. The current bit mask is applied to values immediately before... And wait, what? The current bit mask is applied to the values immediately before they are written to memory. A 0 or 1 overrides the corresponding bit in the value, while an X leaves the bit in the value unchanged. Passing a bit mask, it will override two bits in every written value. Okay, I see. Yeah. So you have the, the, the value and then the mask, and this is... So the mask is zero, so this is addition without carry, basically. So that's uh, XORing it, I think. Yeah, that's exclusive or... No, wait. Uh, no, it's just replacement. No, no, nothing fancy. It's just replacing it. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I'm, I'm mixing it up. It's just an end. Or you could just write the mask bit to it. That's probably easier. By and I mean or. No, if it's an or, it would be one O is zero. Here, zero one equals one, so it can't be an and either. It's it's none of those. Because the second value overrides the first. Even if it's a one. So you can't there's there's no logic here. It's simply this is directly lined into that. Because there's no no X. I mean um, you, you could do no voltage on a line, but like, that would be the analogy here. Um, but then you'd have something like a latch somewhere. I'm not entirely sure if you would want to do this in gates, how that would work. I mean, you can do it. You can always do it. I'm just not entirely sure. Anyway, so that's a fairly simplistic way of doing it. Let's see. To initialize the docking program, the sum of all values left in memory after initial period completes. The entire 36-bit address space begins initialized with the value 0 at every address. In the above examples, only two values of memory are not 0. 101, 37, and 64. Address 7. Um. Oh, okay, so... zero okay basically this means that 
I was thinking about, wait, there's multiple masks? Wait, so what do you do with masks? Do you mask all the memory with that? I'm sorry, this is a little bit vague. So... Yeah, so it's nothing of the above. Yeah, it's it's whatever's in the original volume. I'm looking at the inventory. I'm a bit confused. So, what did they want us to do? Did they want us to? I assume they basically say that your your mask you just keep that in memory, and you apply these values, and then um, then you just change the mask and you just start writing memory again. Because I assume it'll write to the same memory addresses a few times. But that is. Ah, I don't like that. Uh, that's not a nice way of doing this. Anyway, so I need to keep that in mind. That I can, I should be able to write to memory multiple times. Write, write a mask and not just read a mask. 2014.txt, but that should be fairly simple. We can just like, you can detect if it's a mask. Um, I assume you already did this day, uh, Fdish. Uh, well, how awful was it? So we're basically going to be having a, a global... I'm going to make it a string. Fuck doing anything else. Just parse it later. Just will parse it character by character. Um, so this will be a mask. What else do we need as globals? Vector. No, we're going to make it a map. No, fuck that. Int. Uh, map. No, so it's gonna be an int and it's gonna be a int array? Can I even do that? Can I do a vector inside a map? I think so. Because what I wanna do is um because the values we're gonna get are huge. This is this no way I can make an array that long. It's not practical. I could do it, but it's just not practical. So I just keep that as a the key and then um, a 32-bit vector basically will be um, of just ones and zeros will be it. Because I could do like an actual number as a bit mask, but um, then I would have to use a 64-bit one. And frankly, I don't give a shit about memory complexity for once. Um, and this seems just the best way to do it. Hey, there's Shrudel. Because this will allow me to index fairly easily into this vector with an, uh, with an index into the string. Um, anyway, so... Um, reading this is going to be fairly simple, because what I can do is I can do a string... Um, so I just have a string, which is going to be um, the key. We'll have a um, character which will be the uh, equal sign equal equals because I need to read it into it and then we're gonna have a, a string that is called value and then I can do an f stream an if stream and then we can just read all the values into it there's a thing that'll work so what i can do is i can do while string x just for debugging while but just want to see what happens exactly so what you get there is still not always clear to me because it seems like sometimes you get the entire string and sometimes you get with the proper anyway it doesn't matter array already defined oh yeah whoopsie and to exclude to you There we go, yeah. So what I can do now is I can actually do this. Um, key equal value. And then what I can do is just do count. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's complaining about not having proper brackets. Because I can do one where I just parse the file as it comes in. I don't need to actually save it anywhere. Um. Oh, yeah. There we go. So now what I can do is I can actually parse this. The only annoying thing will be actually grabbing the value from this. Um, I could reject that. What I could also do is strip the last value and the first four. So what I can actually do is uh, so first. So let's fix. So if uh, key equal key dot com dot compare uh, mask equals zero, then we do uh, mask equals key, and else it'll be a memory address. So then we need to parse that. So what we can do is um, so the order is always so you try to so even if there's another value Press the right eight. Sixty-four is written to address eight instead. Overriding the value that was there previously. Yeah. So I, there, I'm sure there's actually a smart way to do this, uh, but I'm not entirely sure about it. Let me grab some other. There we go. I'll separate out the of code stuff from everything else. There we go. I'm not sure if there's a smart way to filter it out. I'm sure there is, but I don't know. So I'm just gonna do it naively. Um, and if else, we need to grab the value that is inside and we're going to do like a write so we'll have a function that says write memory which will be a void called write memory um actually so mask is value so we have a memory and what it takes is an integer index and a string for a value what we can do then is do write memory. And the value will be the value. And this will be uh, a toy. Was it Stoy? I don't I never remember which one of this. Yeah, the string. So Stoy of uh, key dot substring of. Um, so I'll ignore the first four. And then it'll do comma. Um, key dot size minus two, and just well, it'll actually tell me if it's not working. I can also just count this to see if it's getting done proper. Um, I think this works. Well, let me just just to be sure. Let me put some brackets here. I never know if that works. It'll error out if it's if it's the, not proper. Eleven one oh one eight. What? Um Oh yeah, duh, nitro. Maybe count it. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was just wondering about it because uh, I didn't because I didn't see any talk about it this morning. At least silver is mine. Damn it. Yeah, so eight, seven, eight. So that works, which is good. Listening to you in background while working. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Nobody else did it so I think so far. Yeah, Hamster did. I think he said silver is mine, so I assume he uh, he did it. So we'll have a void for that, and we'll also have a void that says apply mask. This this will be actually be no, no argument, so this will be apply mask. So what I'm going to do, write memory, which will be... Um, let's see. So first we'll make a vector int that is the values. Then we'll do for... Um, so st string value is just a number. So this can also just be an int. Wait, no, 32 bits. So it's actually going to be larger. So it needs to be a long. 
Um, and this we can also then do the same thing. It's just gonna be story this, story it. Oh, what does story return? Does it return um, a 64-bit value? What do you return? Yeah, you do a string. A long, long. How do I know it's a long? Oh, stole for... Ah, it's like story integer, but now it needs to be store store long or something. Is that what it stands for? That's actually okay. That, that's very useful, I have to say. Um, that was something I was gonna burn myself on if I didn't catch it before. Um, so what I can do now is we don't have to do four values. Um, I like it today. It's fine. Um, how do I? get a bit I can do and so we do four um, there's like 36 bits right because I'm gonna apply it the same way so I can do these so do uh, int i equals zero it's just a bit of boilerplate writing uh, i is less than bits um, i plus plus and now what I can do is um, values. Oh yeah, I need to be 36 already. So I need to initialize you to bits first. So what I can do then is do, um, well actually that won't matter. I could just do pushback. That's not very difficult because you always append from the back and we do that as well. So we start with the highest value. So we do um, value and two bits minus i. And this I need to pay attention to using bitwise and no, I actually don't want to use that. So that's fine. And then what I need to do is do apply mass to a vector, vector, int. And then I need to do apply mask to um, values, which we're then gonna, you know, return. And that we will put into the map. Um, I assume that overrides memory dot insert. And so this will be a pair ins comma ins of the index comma whatever apply mask values returns. There we go. Oh yeah, so uh, But and bitwise end when logical end was in plan. No, it actually wasn't. Why is it? No, I don't want to. I, I do actually mean end because I want to push. Actually, oof. Um, uh, yes, this is actually an issue. No, I know why it's complaining because we're, uh, we need to know if it's, an, it's a one or a zero and ending will just. Um, Is there a way to check if a bit is set in a value? Check if bit is set in a value. So first of all, it's one. But for and in a very stupid way, but no way I'm refactoring it. Yeah, I want to do a truth value. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, so we could actually have a boolean here. Huh, that would be stupid, but it might work. No, but we're not, we're talking about C. Yeah, but. This will just push back the entire value. Oh yeah, so I know what I know what it was doing. So I think what it mentioned was this. So what this does, it converts it into a true false, and this converts it back into the original what you would have. So this basically says if there is a value left, it's false. But then we say, oh no, it's true. There's something left. And now we just apply the mask. And this is fairly simple. So what we do is we have a vector int of results. Um, and then we do for um, int i equals zero, i is less than bits, i plus plus, and we can simply mask them together. So that's the naive one. So we just do result dot result dot pushback. Um, so, um, let me see. So this should be the original value. If mask, so we do we'd index into mask. If I equals X, then put in the original value, which is a value i. Otherwise, put in mask, put in stoy mask i. And this in theory should just mask it. So why are you stoying it? Oh, it's a character. Oh, um, no, that's just, that's, I know that one. That's fairly simple. It's minus A, there we go. So let's see if this works. So let's print out what we have in memory at the end. So for uh, pair int comma, um, ba, 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 map, no, uh, vector int p, p in memory, um, count p dot first, and then we do, uh, um, for v p dot second count p sorry v count handle so this should print out everything we have in memory so this is going to basically be our second apply mask must return a value oh yeah return results Interesting. What's going on there? Or what the hell? <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Um, let's see. So first of all, what is going on here? So P first, that's the memory address. And why does it do dashes here? Why does it put dashes there? What the hell? That's strange.
And it's also incremental, so that's a bit weird for it. I don't know. Um. Mm, you know what? I should probably just don't do this. Yeah. I. What am I doing, man? Um. Just make this a a long. I think this is a stupid way to do it. Yeah. Don't you worry. So let's make a long. And this will just be a. Because what we can do here. So here we do this push. So here we do this push back garbage. Don't no no. We're not going to do that. We're literally going to do. I wrote garbage code myself, so no code shaming today. Yeah. So here, apply mask is the only thing we need to change because this will be a long, and this also needs to be a long. So we just need to apply the only thing we have to do differently is apply the mask. Um. So basically, we do this as well, and we don't have a result pushback. We basically have a long results, and that just sets um, so we just need we need to initialize this to zero. And what we can do here is do results um, or equal, I think. So what we need only is the proper bit. Um, so this will be a uh, whatever value it is. Bit shifted. Because um, we start the other way around, so we need to actually do uh, bits minus i, because we start uh, the other way around. Yeah, so value i is not going to be a value, but it'll be value. Uh, I need to get the nth bit, which is basically the same. So we can use actually do this. Um, whatever we get from this. And then bit shift that, the proper amount. And why are you not right? Identify our values is. Yeah, because it should just be value. We'll probably remove this function in a second, so don't worry. And just says minus one. Nice. How does that even happen? So let's um, let's just do value. Don't even apply it. Let's just put the value in there. That should work fine. 10111. 10111. This is zero. That's 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 wrong, first of all. And I'm pretty sure because uh, that is in CPP overwrite map. I think um, you need to overwrite it. I would like to see. Want to avoid some you give up you get the want to avoid copy. I know that there's actually a, a way to do this. I think there's a um, there's some help here. No, not here. I hate that site. It's so useless. Here we go. There's like a swap. That's basically what you want. Now there should be like an, an insert place, construct insert element with hint. The hell's a hint? Anyway, I know that there's a way to... Uh... Max efficiency? What the hell's a different max efficiency inserting? 
Place with no other element as a key. Elements in the map are unique. I know that. Hmm. Oh yeah, it enters an iterator into the equivalent container within. So I think I could use that to actually change it. Returns an iterator. So what I could do is if. What was it again? Um, a better way to do it because like if here the single element version returns a pair the version with a hint returns an iterator pointing to either hmm the second pair is that the true here we go oh uh, that sucks to hear Returns a pair, but what is what is the pair that it returns? Is it a char in or is it a boolean? The true. Yeah, so this is what it returns. Char in. So basically, I do uh, do this. Hey, if uh, if memory or insert already is already there, so what we can do is we can actually. First, actually, do something else. So, we first, we do um, to insert. So, what is do? He's like, uh, so make the pair to insert. And what I can do is uh, if I actually do this t -t 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 results. And, uh, oh, yeah. Why are you complaining about this? Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, map chart in. Yeah, yeah, that's why, of course. So it's an int long. <laughs> what? What are you on about? Oh, um, is it because I'm already defined results? Is your, um, yeah. Trade return. Is it something else? Oh, yeah, it's just result, result. Is the result used some elsewhere? I don't know, man. Anyway, um, if um, res.second, was it true if it succeeded? Uh, is it the true if so if it's false then what i can do is do um memory index there we go i am actually kind of curious about something if can i just ignore this and just do this just always do that. Hmm. Well, that's a lot simpler. Jesus Christ. And then I just need to do the apply mask thing. And that makes it all weird, because that does minus one. Minus one and minus one nine sets. That's not correct. Um... Oh, I think it's because they're unsigned. I think I need to make them unsigned. Yeah, I need to make them unsigned. Oh, but stall returns a signed. Um, Converts a string to an unsigned integer. Let's see. 
Here we go. Unsigned. Stool. Nice. So we need stool. Why am I writing stool here? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is really good. I'm still yeah, unsigned long. Ah, uh, man. Look, it sounds like stool. Not that that changes anything. Not now, at least. Because in theory, the... <laughs> Sorry. Let's see. Um, so, why are you not working? Let's see. So, long result is zero. Um, and then I or it with either the value... Ah, yeah, that's why. Value needs to be... Um... Yeah, okay, I see the issue here. I need to grab only the bit that I am interested in. Um... Ah, it's because my and... There we go. It's because I need to do an and... An and with one. That's why. That's the issue. And one. Just to make sure the order of operation is done correctly here. There we go. Still not correct, but a man can man can dream. Um. Let's see. CPP. CPP. Uh, out as bits. I think there's a fairly easy way to do this. Yeah, I know you can do this using hex. You can do comply using bit sets. I'm just going to use that. Screw it. It's fairly easy. And then you just do bit sets and I assume that's how many bits you have which will be 64 so we could do I assume we need to do 64 here hey that looks better wait it's still treated as signed but I said unsigned oh I think I know why it's because Oh, the counting does it as unsigned. That's why. So what if it happens if I do 36 here? Does it just truncate the start? It does. That's great. So I can just ignore that. So let's see if these results are correct. Because I don't think they are. So with 7, that's the one we're looking for. 1-1. One, one. I think there's an off by 1 error. Was it plus one? Yeah, I think I need to do that actually. That's an off by one error in the bit index. That looks better. Oh, well, not exactly perfect yet. Oh no, no, I think I need to do minus, minus one? No, because then I'll go to below zero. Okay, so remove this. I'm clearly doing some dumb shit here. What's going on here? Let me grab the results. What's going on here? So we see blue zero. Here we go. So we have one oh one oh oh one one. Yeah. So I think the mask. Oh, the mask index is wrong. Um, mask index minus A. Uh, I think that's wrong, actually. Char, char, char two. Eight. Two, 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 two. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, you can just do an int cast, right?
Ah, see, that's... Here, to convert a character, that's the one we're doing wrong. We need to do minus zero. That's better. Not entirely correct yet, though, but we're slowly getting there. I think it's not writing the masked value correctly now. Because what we can see is that the... Um Yeah. See, 110101, and then here it's wrong because it's. This is set prop. Sorry, this is zero, but the other one isn't set properly. Um, wait, no, that we, we just fixed that, as it were. So, why are you not right? So, what we can do first is actually count value. But that should be zero. If it is equals x, do the value, otherwise do the mask. Because um, this is going to be zero. So that writes zero there, and then masks it. So the mask will be... Um, oh, I just screw it, just do this. make it very stupid just uh, let's see the eye and then I would like the other eye as well so we'll do count uh, mask mask I minus yeah and then value I can always do this this do it for value so this will tell you for every single index what the value is we're looking for what the value is otherwise mismatch in parameter list freaking brackets man Slightly unreadable. Oh god. Um, first of all, let's do an. Um, now they're grouped at least. There we go. So, what we're looking for is like the first bits of this, the last number. Here we go. One. Zero. One. So, why are you set to eight there? What the hell? First of all... Yeah, no, that's correct that it says 8, because we're, we're, we're checking bits here. Beats... Yeah. What I can do here is just do, say, just count... Value... Which these hashtag Dutch programming as attack. Thank you. Mm. So it is zero. What's going wrong here? So zero is correct because the mask is. Uh, don't think. No, I know that it wasn't a compliment. Don't worry. Yeah, but the mask is. Um, A bunch of X's. Oh yeah, of course, because if it's an, an X, it'll be something as well. Um, um, so now they'll tell me it's an X if it's not. What are you complaining about? What do you mean? Oh, Jesus Crivens. This is like <laughs> Indian 
COVID wars, yes. Uh, man, this is annoying. This is just me being very st I don't know where- I don't know where my bug is, but I'm spending more time writing debugging code than anything else. There we go. That'll tell me if an X, if it's not. Yeah, there we go. Zero X, one X, and there should be a not X in position something. Wait, what? Oh, we're going from the top. Yeah, of course. My bad. I flipped it around. Do, do, do. Okay. So... Why are you all X's? X, 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 X. Everywhere's an X. 31, 32, so near 34, it's the last, second to last one, just correct. And you are a zero, hey, that's wrong. See, this is not right, this should be a one. But why is it a one? Was it right? 29 is a zero. Can you use breakpoints and watchdogs? Yeah, I can. I've used it before, but I guess that would work as well. But it doesn't, I mean, the, yeah, the thing is that the, the, what I'm looking for would not necessarily be in memory. I could use breakpoints. I should have actually done that, but this will tell me exactly which bit it's not doing right. 29. So this this should be one and it's zero so what i first i can do is um because this should actually not be it should be this value whatever it's in like minus so 36 minus whatever this is so that is going to be seven or so because if i if i would be 64 right yeah, so 64, which is 2 to the power uh, 8, right? It hurts natural with steel bronze with kiss code. <laughs> what do you mean steel? I'm sure Marvin will be way faster than me. What am I doing wrong here? Zero to 35, which means that I end index 35. Yeah, because it's zero indexed. So zero would be bit 36, which then gets bit shifted by 36, that's fine. But why do you not get properly shifted? I just get shafted. E. All right, so. So let me just um, first just count what is in there. Then, out what happens if I do this conversion? Or two, maybe beyond his abilities. Thank you. We'll see about that, although you might be right. Plus long math. Thank you. Let's see. What do you get? Yeah, 29, 29, 0. So that's all right. Hmm. So what is happening with the shift here? Oh, <laughs> I see why. No, I know my issue already. So I need to do the end only for you. And you, I just need to shift. There we go. Right, so you, you get close there, that's not right. 
I think this will now be right. That looks a lot better. And then I need to sum the values. So that's just, that'll just be sum. So it'll be at most like a few hundred times this value. So we'll just make an unset long, long sum. Ah, oh, fuck, it's gonna be doing that again, isn't it? Oh, that's annoying. So the reason why this is an issue is because, um, mm, actually, I think if I just do this, it should work fine. No, this should work, I think. I can actually just delete all of this, so this should be fine. Three, five, seven. Is that correct? I don't think so. One, six, five. Um. Wait, no, we still have the issue. We, we got that other issue back. What the hell? But I thought I fixed that. Yeah, look, it's again 101, 100, and then there's this one here, which it shouldn't be. What the hell? I am confused. Is the index off by one? What is Dutchman? A miserable pile of issues. Thanks. Jesus. Alright, first of all, let's just... Um, actually just delete this function and just make it apply mask. And... Uh, there we go. Ah, and this will be results. There we go. What are you complaining about? Oh yeah, it's a void. What are you complaining about? Too few arguments in function call. Oh yeah, because it's a, it's a recursive call. No, just to uh, do this, please. Um, so this should change nothing. Doesn't look good. Yeah, so they're all bit shifted one too much, which is really weird, because, um... So this shift is not right. So bits would be 36, uh, minus i, which is going to be the index. So at, you know, first position, it'll be thir shift 36 times. Should that be one higher? See, that's what I'm not sure about. Or one lower, I mean. Because this works, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I'm not sure it'll give me the right answer in the end. 165. Yeah, that's correct. But I, I don't trust my puzzle input with this. To be honest, Nitro lost me long ago. Wait, what? Why? This is not gonna work. I'm so damn sure of it. Results. That's too low, as I thought. Too low. Yeah, I would like your input. I'm gonna test it a bit. I'd appreciate that. So, first, what we can do to debug this is just check a few things. Cheers, hamster. What's your, uh, your answer?
see what we get first. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. As I thought correctly, we're like an order. No, we're like orders off. So that seems to me to think that my summing is going wrong somewhere. Um, so one thing I could do is make these long longs. Because that sometimes fixes shit. So that's just a very naive way of changing things up. I still get the same answer, which is good, I guess. Um, so first things first, we check it with my the original input. There we go, to see if that still works. Yeah. So, let's see, how do I want to check this? Because what I need to do is basically after each operation, check what what it is so we don't care about the index uh, that that's not going to be an issue but the value being bit messed is so what we can do is we can after every single value hmm, i have an idea i would advise to check every value well no i mean like the the indexing is going to be fine it's going to be the masking that's wrong, I'm pretty sure. So what I can just do is, um, uh, with every single one, count the, the bit value like this. So, don't care about the index. So we do here, we do value. So we count the value. We then count the mask. And then in the end, we do it again. We do it with results. We do it again. And then I do another end line there. And then what I can do, that would finish under two hours, I'd call it a miracle. Thank you. And then we just uh, stop that immediately. Oh, uh, actually, do me uh out just normal value so actually what we're looking at more easily and then um just let it run for a few ones and we see where we go wrong i think a conversion error is occurring somewhere let's see uh can i stop after like the first three values Get it, C++. Uh, I see over four. Right. There we go. What do we get? Yeah, see, it doesn't apply it right here. It doesn't apply the mask correctly. Wasn't it? It was 36 bits, right? Don't you fucking dare tell me. Return to the day, please. 36 bits. But am I not doing all 36? What? But it does it here, but not here. Yeah, the upper end is always ignored. Why? Significant bit on the left, 235. Yeah, that's actually why this was right. Why this is uh, what we needed to do uh, this. So you get. See, on a 4 byte and then casting into an 8 byte. Castify to a wire type before calling. Oh, no. 
Rhythmic overflow, 32-bit valuables shift to 10 cast to 64-bit results might not be a... Hey, what's the potential fixes? Yeah. Come on, fix it for me, C++. Oh yeah, I want to do it, damn it. So what's the over here? Oop. Same arithmetic overflow, where this value, yeah. Ah, it's a fucking casting. Oh my. Oh, it hurts. It still doesn't work, though. Hmm. Hmm. So, the strange thing is that it seems like it's not iterating over the entire mask properly. But that's right, because it starts with zeros and goes on to, to, mid, to, to bits. But I feel like it's not doing that properly. But I don't know. The, the cast might error out. Yeah, sure. Um... This is really an error. No way that's actually causing the error, right? No, no way. Because I would error out way before. Yeah, this is getting rid of messages. Um, mm, mm -hmm. Why are you not taking these? What? So what's the highest one? Ah, we don't get a different mask in between this time. But I could raise that to be like 10 and then we should get another mask. I want to get another mask to see if uh, if we actually get any issues. Yo, these are all zeros, and there's no ones there to overwrite it either. These values seem suspiciously low. Oh yeah, but the super high values don't come into... Yeah, do we have the higher values here. No, but this, so, so yeah, it works up until here. But why does it stop there? Is this like, what's the length of that? Could you, uh, could you tell me? Twenty-eight, no, that's not anything. What the hell is going on here? I am, not as I was thinking of like if this bit length here had anything to do because it seems to stop. Like I don't know about these values because they're all zeros. Um, but this seems to be like I don't know why it's not taking those into account. Um, oh, do we have to do that again? The whole thing that I removed before. Nice. Well done there, Nitro. Uh, just count. Uh, First of all, yeah, we do this. I just did it all with an array. Yeah, that, that would work as well. I, I like this way, because this is the, 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 the smarter way, but I'm a bit unsure, because I had a vector before, but it, that didn't work well either. Um, I should have used an array. It's been an hour on this, man. This is way longer than it should. Give me an I. Give me a count, and then simply just count the mask. And then uh, just, let's see, count whatever value you find there. So that'll be one thing. Just to see if it iterates over those. Actually, just do it over, you know, past. We know already where it breaks, so we know after two. Yeah, I was thinking about strings as well, but I'm not sure if there's an easy way to do that in CPP. So we just do the first two values. Let's see. It's the mask. Um, oh yeah. Like 
it's slightly easier to read. I know there's a conversion error there, but let's see. Zero, one, one, X, zero, two, two, zero, three, one. That works. Just works just fine. But for some reason, it doesn't get... <clears throat> Jesus fucking Christ, Nitro, you're an idiot. How? How did you manage to get this far in life with this little intelligence? I truly wonder how you managed that. Still not the right answer though. That's strange. How's it not the right answer? Okay, break again after two. See if the results are right now. Oh yeah, don't don't do that. Oh. Well, that seems to work just fine. So why am I still getting the wrong answer? Is the sum is the sum too big? Um, I think one thing I could do is actually cast this first, just to see, because that might matter. Because I've seen issues happen with that before. But, uh, of course I won't be able to check. Like that. Oh. Hmm. Let's see, what value do we get here, even? Wait, it's, it's lower than what we had before? That's impossible. How is that even possible to be lower? So now I want now is the summing wrong? I don't know. That's the confusing part. Because there aren't that many operations, which means that manually checking this is not very difficult, and it seems to be mostly correct. Hmm. <clears throat> mostly correct, he says. That's not right. Yeah, that's not right. Interesting. How does... Yeah, it slips through more often. Um, oh, good. We can. We already see the error here, which you know, is kind of good, I guess. Because it tells me that I know already the error after a single iteration. Let's see. What do we have? This all gets done proper now, but you are not right. So what happens seems to happen here. Is this the proper? Yeah, this is the, no, this is not the right value in bits. Um, so we have a one that gets turned into a zero. Sorry, that doesn't get. Wait, no, sorry, that does. Sorry, that, that properly happens. So how do I detect an error here? Yeah, for example, here's an error. So 1x0 is wrong. Did I improperly shift it still? Um, what is going wrong here? I don't think this should actually be an error at all. Um, hmm. Am I playing the mess with a shift? We can actually check our the testing values we had. Yeah, 
yeah, so it's a uh, wrong. Great, great. This is good. So I can actually test it in the simpler inputs. But what is going wrong here? Is it the shifting again or something? 1011. Oh, first of all, no, it's not wrong. It's because I'm breaking early. 165. No, 160. Okay, we still got the error. That's actually wonderful. Um, thing is because yours shifted one too much. But where did this error snuck back in? Yeah, it's... Yeah, the application just doesn't get done right. So what if I remove this minus one again? Yeah, then the error is properly wrong, because now it gets shifted too much again. But minus one needs to be there. Um, but now it looks like it's shifted again? What the hell is going on here? Zero X. So, and you else, you also don't get passed through. This would be one oh oh one oh oh one. Yeah, why are you? What the hell is going on here? Maybe the application to the final thing is not going going right. Result is an unsigned long long, as is everything else. Because you should be like, you should be a digit, basically. I'm so, I don't understand this. And it frustrates me to no avail. such a weird issue as well. Let's see, first, tell me what this results in. Oh, yeah. And then what I want to know is the value. So what is the value that eventually gets put in? So that'll just be... You know, um, this. Oh, is my O ring wrong? Oh, I think I might have an or an or there. <laughs> Actually, no, it's or. So if it's all zeros, you should just, you echo back. What if you try doing this normal person at one? I'm not one-lining everything, man. Sort of not. Okay, maybe I should split this out a bit. Fine, let's, let's, um... Let's do it, okay, sure, no, you're... Just, just the important bits, yeah, exactly. So let's uh, clean this up a bit then. So what we need is we need a bit to set. So what we'll do is do an int, they just is a bit. So I could actually make this already the bit to set, which is slightly, so actually stays kind of proper. So, if it's not this, so if it's X, we just echo back what's there before, right? So we do bit equals this, which is the value we have and which should be its position. So it's one bit shifted. Otherwise, then we do results. And otherwise we do bits. is going to be it's 
going to be this. And then we do um, count bits. Actually, let's do it like this because it'll be um, bits. So when you, we're missing a bracket here. Yeah, here. Oh, actually, in theory, just you should be put into that. And then you get bit shifted. Let's see, what do we have? Zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to scroll down to like the lower values. So here we go. 35x. Then we count the bit set at the end. Yeah, just um, and then there's the final results. Um, I. No, I need to count the value of the um, of the bit in here as well. Ah, boy. I think I have a proper way to read this. Actually, to do, to see if we need to set, let's do it slightly better. So the question now is, do we set the bit? Yes. So then this question is, do we set it itself? And we can do that with a logical or. So we just do the shifting later, which is actually better. So now it'll be a Boolean value. But I'm sure we can actually cast it back to an end. So that should be fine. And the same gets done here. So now we can just count bits. And what we then do is we need to shift this. Um, bits minus i. Times. That's not right, that's for sure. So let's see. Zero is the i, x is what it is, so one is the bits. So bit would get set here in theory. I could always just do, do the intermediate results. This is frustrating to debug. Let's see. I should also probably count the bit do we have in the value. Zero, yeah, zero. I actually want to do that as well. So how do I do that properly? Just count what we have here. So always count that, I guess. Wait, and one? That's not right. Oh yeah, you need to still get shifted. Get it? Shifted, shifted, whatever. Shifted bits minus i times. Is that where I went wrong? No, I don't think so, because I never converted it back into a logical value. Anyway. Yeah, so zero x zero so we go from the back now so we need to go all the way back to the lower values we should see so yeah so we have a 29 so one and a mask and one in the other one yeah so one in the mask one in the other one so that'll wait no 
So yeah, one in the mask, one in the other value. So we got set to one. Yeah, I should really count this as well. Regarding Miracle, make it three hours. I am... Ugh. This is so annoying, because it should not be this difficult, you know? Let's see. So... Can I just go back to playing Cyberpunk? 011. Zero, one, one. Yeah. 0x0, zero, 0x0, zero, zero, 1x1. Zero, one, one. So that'll be... Yeah. Then it's 0x0. Zero, zero, zero. Yeah, so it's the, it seems like the bit mask has shifted. Yeah, I think it is. Did play a little hacking game first. <laughs> yeah, I think it's uh, the bit mask is not getting indexed properly. Because what we can see here is uh, so it's one x zero. So one x one is not right. Wait, so why does it say 1001? So this is all correct. Wait, does the last value just not get looked at? This still would be wrong. Because this, no, this is a second, this is a zero here, which is not right. How is that not right? Because it just looked at here. Can you see? One oh one. Where's the last one? Where's the last one? Are we looking at the right value? Yeah, eleven should be one oh one one. One oh one one with this mask. I'm not entirely sure what's going wrong here. So the 30, 35th value is 1x1. Which is correct. But why do you only... Why do you still write a 0 then? Is this bit shifting wrong? Should it get bit shifted one more time? Because it's... Was that the error, actually? Still not correct, but... Ugh. There we go. Well, that's still slightly more correct, but not really. 1x1, 0, 0, 0, so that's not right. It should be 1, 0, 0. We have one x one. Yeah, so if we look from the back, we have one x one. Oh oh oh. One oh one. But there should be two ones at the back anyway. But I think it just because I think the value itself doesn't get doesn't have the bits properly indexed. Which is you. But how? Do I also need to add a minus one here? Oh fuck me, that's what I was doing wrong. That was what what the what the error was. So let me just quickly count this away. And then actually here as well. I think I've got it right now. But it's still being counted. It was just the stuff at the end, right? Yeah, all right, so now let's, let's try hamster's input again. Oh. Oh, look, we're still back to a wrong answer. Ah, fun. How is it still wrong? Let's 
see if it's... I am so confused right now. This is just a clusterfuck of errors. No, actually, this looks correct. Yeah. One one oh one x one one x one oh one x x one 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 one. This looks all correct. So where's the error? No, this all looks good. I could write a little bit of checking code. Where it just sanity checks the 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 mask with the value we get. But still, what the hell's going on? Now I'm now I am confused. <laughs> what the hell? So let's do a few more. Does the original value get read correctly? I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, I am very unsure where my error is now. I mean, it is simply a very large sum, so it's not like it's super duper um oh what i could do is actually just do um So just we actually get the, the value in the end, so I can see that should be... See the values that it's summing together? Oh, minus. That's an overflow. But it's unsigned. But it's unsigned. What? It said that's an unsigned long long. What's going on? What? But, so it wasn't even in my code, it was... So the first bit gets set, but... Could you tell me all the bits, please? What the F is going on here? Yeah, that's because it set, gets set to negative, but what the... Where is this occurring? Uh, 64, please. Where the F in hell is this occurring? Uh, please don't do that. I, I am very confused here. Let's see what is happening. So this seems all okay. Okay, run for a while. He's molding. <laughs> what? Okay, so we notice, for example, you. Could you actually count the index as well? So I can. The fudge is going on. So it doesn't seem to be happening here. What I want to do is I want to actually control C. What I can do is I can go here, check one of these values. So U index. Please tell me there's the next one. There we go. Yeah, see? So this is all turning just fine. 
Oh, it gets overwritten multiple, it's fine. But it seems that here, everything above a certain number gets corrupted. But how do I fix that? Set all the bits to zero? Manually? But then it's still... Because I still think... Um, can I actually sign it? So we have... Uh, one, one, oh, here. One, three O's, one, oh, one. One, three O's, one, one. Oh, it's one, three O's, one, oh, one. Yeah. One, three O's, one, oh, one. But that's one, one. Oh, something's really awry here. Six, three, three, four. I am so confused. So first, let's make this a comma, so I can actually see it a little bit easier. How do I fix this? Thing is, I don't even know if this value seems correct. Because... <sighs> Grief. Is there an O? Yeah, I think there is, but I'm not sure where, because I've made everything unsigned long. Like, P-second is already an unlong signed long long. I don't even need to do that cast anymore. Here, P.second is a map of an unsigned long long here. Unsigned long long. A bit is an unsigned long long. Um, yeah, yeah, don't think about it. <laughs> it's because it also keeps the position already. What's a bite then? Don't think about it. Mm. It's because of this, because it, it converts it already. Result is the intermediate, it's also that. The thing is, I don't see any errors in, in here. I don't see a, a giant bulk of um, of zeros getting appended anywhere. Of ones, I mean. So it must be in the latter part. But the thing is that, so... Here we count p.second right at the end. And I'm not sure where they're coming from. Can you add a breakpoint when a negative value occurs on a deep... Oh, I don't know if I can do that. Oh, I could probably... Uh, I, no, I think I can. Um, conditions would be if results below zero. Yeah. Do you need action as well? Ah, uh, breakpoint. There we go. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I, I know I can. Um, did it break there already? No, it didn't get triggered. Result is less than zero. Like, I'm, I'm like... So let's say it don't touch anything. Yeah, it just never gets... Oh, it gets put here because of, that's the next line. Um, I don't... So it never gets set there. I'm like 100% sure that it happens in the... So let's grab a value we know gets set to negative, right? So this one, for example. So we can do conditions and we do... Uh, index equals u. There we go. So we have index. So we have result, which is a huge number. But that's not negative. That's that's just not negative. It's an unsighted in 64, which is exactly what we're looking for. So this is this is not where the error occurs. So we just disable that. And let's Are you winning, son? No, we're fighting with the compiler. 
Yeah, I'm... Some is an unsigned long long. We're having issues with the fucking... Um... Fucking compiler being an ass. It's like uh, it's summing... Uh, the, the values become negative in the end. Here we go. The pair is... Wait, does it get... No way. Huh? Oh, fuck, you're right. It's... Ah, uh, I hate myself so goddamn much, man. This is why Python is a superior language. That's the correct answer. This is why Python is a superior language. You never have shit like this. I hate myself so much, man. Anyway, that's the right answer. We've done part two. Get out of here with your disgusting dynamic typing. No. Alright, that was thanks, uh, Aftish. Notice it's, you notice it's just before I did, because, like, why is... It's all correct in the map, but it's wrong in the pair. <laughs> Why would that be? Anyway, that's part one done. Way, way fucking slower than it needed to be. For some reason, the Seaport's computer system still can't communicate. It must be for some using version 2. A version 2 decoder chip doesn't modify the values being written. It acts as a memory address encoder. Fuck. Immediately, immediately before a value is written to memory, each bit in the bit mask modifies the corresponding, corresponding bit of the destination memory is addressed in the following way. A floating bit is not connected to anything as it fluctuates unpredictably. That means that the floating bit takes on all possible values, causing all v oh, fuck. Wait, so first, so the address is 42. So, yeah. Four bits are overwritten, three of which are different each time. Floating bits take on every combination with two floating bits for actual, yeah. About to write the memory address 26 with a different bit mask, which has an eight different ones to be written to. Oh, fuck me. Fuck, fuck, fuck me. All right, so first, um... So we know this works. So let's. So we know this works. I'm gonna keep this. But th the good thing is. No, because I only need to. Okay, okay, let's. So let's change this a little bit and make this a uh, st string mask. And then we also pass mask along to you. So now we just no longer make it uh, a global, make it a local. There we go. So now um, that is slightly easier. Um, so this is all the same, but so this will be part one. Great. So, um, let me think, what's the best way to do this? So what we need to do is we need to permutate every single one. Oh, God. <gasps> How do I easily make all permutations? So we're going to have things like, you know, with part two answer. Thank you. Oh god. Okay, I need to think of a good way to make these permutations even. So what I could do is uh, make a vector. So, okay. Let's do this in bits. So first we'll do a vector of string, which gets returned from a permutate of string mass. Can we get faster by 30? I don't think so. 
pretty sure I'm not gonna be efficient here. I bet on yes, that may be. So this will be permutate. So this will be vector string um, permutation, permutations, return permutations. So just assume that it can do this. You have no idea how inefficient I am. Um, so for part two, instead of applying mask, well, we still apply mask, but um, let's uh, let's just do it this stupid. Let's go commit, commit day one, and then just delete. I don't wanna day fourteen, part one, commit and push, because um. I don't want to keep random ass bits of code here. Uh, let's see. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to need to get all the permutations. So, we'll just make an, um, like a, here, we'll do a bit, 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 bit of void art. Um, uh, right, mem, which will be a value. So we'll have a memory address. So that'll be, uh, what do we, what did we use here, right? So actually, uh, yeah. So we'll do an int index. So this will be address, basically. Address. We'll have a, uh, value, which will be an unsigned, it would be an unsigned long, long value. And then we'll have a string that is the mask. And then what we do is we do a vector a string, just perms equals permutation, permutate of the mask. And then what I do is do for, for um, string s or mask in perms. We then apply that. So then we apply mask, apply mask, which will be, you know, the uh, string address and uh, the value. What do you mean? Oh yeah, mask, mask, there we go. So this is basically what we need to do. And then here, we need to make sure to do this to the address and not the actual other value. So instead of value, we use index, right? But, okay, so addresses are also used as 36 fucking bits here now. That's fucking wonderful. When it goes to write as for two first apply the bit mask. So then it actually writes to 26, 57, 58, 59, yeah. Yeah, because we actually knew it was address space as well. So what we can do is we can actually just simply fix that by just making everything fucking unsigned long longs. So you will be stool as well, just so it actually returns that proper. And uh, unsigned long long, unsigned long long, just make sure there's no fucking end left anywhere. Let's see, so there's no ins left here. And then what I can do is instead of the value, it's gonna be the index that we're reading the bit from. And then what we do is, yeah, index equals result. So, sorry, um, results equals value, right? So, cause we don't mask the value anymore. So 42 is a hundred. So this, Wait, what? Do we do both? I'm not entirely sure here. So these are the addresses, but what do we write there to?
because 100 is when it goes to right from reach 42. Four bits are overwritten. Four bits take on every possible value. Address is 42. About to write to memory and put the different bit mask. So the value is zero at every distance is sum of all this. This is this is vague. I don't like this exactly. Uh, unless I'm reading over a line. Doesn't modify the values being written at all. Okay, thank you. All right, good. So we know that we, we can just ignore the value itself. It needs to go through untouched. We can check that. That's correct. And index isn't used here. So we have, yeah. So this is all fine. So this is just, a, this should work. The masking should work just fine. The only thing we need to do now is get the pure mutations right. For how to do that, I'm not entirely sure. So what I need to do is make, you know, at least there's the, the amount of X to the two to the power of X's that pure mutations will be there. Um, Jesus Christ, let's see, CPP permutations string. lexicographical next permutations because what I could do is I could grab all the X's and then um, <coughs> <coughs> and I just oh, one second Um, <laughs> <coughs> okay, uh, let's just say that he did not agree with me there and just vacated the premises. I am going to take a break and lie down for a second. <coughs> um, I'll, uh, I'll come back, I think, in an hour or so to uh, see if we can finish this. We're so close to the end, though. Just need all the pure mutations, man. Anyway, dying to tea. I don't know. It's like it's a fresh tea bag, but I think something didn't agree in there. Is there a next? Wait, there's the next pure mutation. Mm. <laughs> 
Did you like what I added to your tea? Fucking Russian, man. Okay. I feel a little bit better now that that's gone. I'm gonna give myself five more, ten more minutes to solve this, and then I'm gonna lie down. Because if I can fix, finish it, I'm at least a little bit happier that's done. Uh, because it's so close at the end. No, it's... I don't know. It, I, I was feeling a bit worse earlier today as well, but it's like, ah, that's still just pass. But it, it did not. There's no sorting to do when you just get X's. But, um... <clears throat> mm. No, we don't want to do permutations of that. Because that's just reordering. But we need, cause we need two values for every single one. Fuck, how do you do that? You can do recursive, actually. Oh, you can make it recursive. <coughs> 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 um god um uh, recursive what we can do is we can for every x we we come across we just append night so don't die don't worry we'll be fine mm, i know a way so this this the thing starts out as uh, permutations dot pushback dot mask and then four <clears throat> then we do while so we do a we do a find x I'll just do a um Nah, let's just do that. So do a, a, a bool finish plus false. So while not finish. So while we're not finished, <clears throat> we basically go through every version of we find in permutations. And if there is an X in there, um, So we do a f uh, we do finish equals true. <clears throat> we do for string s in permutations um, <clears throat> for um, we need an index as well for int i equals zero i oh, not nil zero it's so less than s dot size. Um, I plus plus. What is going on here? Oh, semicolon. If S I equals X, then what we can do <clears throat> we do, um, pure. Oh, uh, Let's, uh, I don't know how this works, so let's not, um, int, uh, j equals zero, j, I want to make sure this doesn't change, because we can just pop on the side if that happens. And here we can just do uh, <clears throat> s string s equals permutations. So the reason why I'm doing this, I'm not sure what, if it's evaluated at runtime or not. Sorry, if it's re-evaluated every loop, because I think it does. Um, there we go. So now we just do the other same thing. So if I SSX, we just push two versions back. So we do, um, how do I copy a string? Stop copy or something? Yeah. String temp equals s dot copy. <clears throat> we do temp i equals zero. I guess that doesn't 
work. Cut my string. I'm basically gonna be trying this only once. Let's see. That's awful. String copy, yeah. But that's this is C. No, this is C plus. What the fuck? I'm just saying. I'm saying copy string. I guess it's the same, right? Let's say it this way. I don't expect this to work. Actually, it should. Because what I would try to do is. S i equals zero permutation start pushback pushback <clears throat> s s so i just wonder if this works because i don't think it will and then if we do this uh, finish equals false there we go Oh crap, I, I know one error. It's got an infinite loop. Wait, it exited? It's not supposed to be able to do that. Uh, first of all, because I got the wrong one, that's for sure. <laughs> It'll never exit, and the reason for that is that it should remove the original one. So, what I could actually do is. One of them I'll write back. So I'll write back to 2J. Yeah, we could actually do that. So this this will overwrite the original one. <clears throat> so I think this should make sure we don't actually have any errors with... There we go. So 408, is that right? I don't know if it is. Probably not. 208. Um, the good thing is we can actually see which addresses it writes to in the end. So we have, yeah, 100, so that's the value that's written correctly. <clears throat> Let's see, 42. Do, 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 do. So what's wrong there? So what we can do now is we can actually add the bit mask of p.first instead of p.second. And actually add what we wanted to do here. So we can do um, So this will now tell me um, I don't care about the value anymore and then the results. Does not tell me the result stuff. Because <clears throat> we have 42. Oh, yeah, could you actually do. Um... Man, man, man. So it's going to be a wonderful day. I already feel like I'm going to collapse after this is done. I just kind of die. Let's see. So. Oh yeah, you get 64, I just need 36. Because we already found the error there. Do I actually do it still here? Yeah, I don't need that anymore. Let's just do 36 bits. Let's see what's going on here. So... The four bits are overwritten, but wait. Wait, the mask. <clears throat> it first applies the bit mask. Oh, I see. I see. Now we're, I see what we're doing wrong. So, um, we do misordering a bit. So what what happens is that we need to get all the permutations of the mask after we did it once, and then we write to that. So first, we apply the mask, and then we get the permut to every permutation we write. I see. I see. 
<coughs> um, so let's see how did that work exactly uh, first applies the bit mask so that's an easy one so we just do um, well it writes to something I want to do that now So let's say I have to return the value on the unsigned long long. Oh yeah, we still need that here. Just return results. So we just do uh, unsigned long long results equals one of these permutations, these applying masks. Mask is not right. What, what what's wrong there? <clears throat> Apply mask string. Oh yeah, I know why. So we of course need to just do this. And the address is the address. So we first apply the mask we have, which still has its X's. So that gets done properly. Then what we do is we permutate the results that we get there. Ever read? Yeah, but I'm almost done. So what we need to do now is actually get it back as um, oh yeah, yeah, of course. So the in the we need to change this because now we don't have a value. We just address it. <clears throat> There's no value that's relevant anymore. I don't care about deleting this because I'm just changing everything. Um, so what I do now is. Wait, what? Oh no, why does it result to what? The fudge happens here. This makes no sense. First part of focus are written to which are different. I'm very confused here. So this goes to an X and this goes, I can understand that. 111, that's fine, but 101, why does that was here? Why does it not get overwritten to a zero? <clears throat> oh, if it's zero, it's unchanged. Okay, that's fair enough. So it's not different. Great, so the logic is different as well. It's freaking annoying. Right, so what I can do is actually add toll. No, because I need to do a bit. Actually, this would work. Just a bit set. I'm not sure what it returns, but type name is not allowed. And then we just do at all. I don't know. It just should. It just. Suitable conversion from bit set to string exists, but it happens here. So I guess that doesn't exist that way. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so mask is going to be a string. So actually writing that properly. So that, that's just uh, stool, 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 mask. So that was fairly easy. Equals the value. So now we just need to get this result to a string because that'll make it so much easier to work with. So, so there we already had the bits thingy here, how to print as bits, but I want to see PP uh, number to bit string, binary string, yeah. Here we go. Oh, just a two string, nice. So that'll work fine. Uh, results dot two string. Okay, so this theory should work. So we can easily check it. Oh, 
And now we need to do the logic proper. So if it's a zero, so we do or. <clears throat> so now we need to change the logic. So if it's an X, we echo X. Fun. So we, the result should already be a string. So this is all right. Well, so never mind that. Results string. So what I can do now is we make this a string that equals this, and then we just um, stir copy this, copy this. We just copy the mask into results destination source. So we need to do results mana mask. I think I can just do equals mask. Actually, um, this could in theory just be 32 zeros. 36 zeros, I mean. Fifty-four, right? Well, I can just copy this and just there we go. And now what I can do is results i equals, so bit is not going to be a char. So we don't need to shift it anymore. So we just change this, basically nuke everything. Jesus Christ. So if it's an x, bit equals x. If it's a one, else if um, mask i equals a one, bit equals a one, else bit equals, um, so this will be the original value, which is. So this will be um, this thing. The values that identified. Oh, yeah, I need to step. Oh, that's index in this case. So index. The value in the original address. So this is the would be the bit, and then just convert it to a char. I assume that gets done automatically. But then I can just do a uh, stoy. What is a return? An in oh yeah, a toy. That's what I need. What does not work? Constant character. Um. Oh, that works. Okay, so let's try that. Yeah. A second, because I think so. This is wrong for sure. This should just be results because it's now a string, so there's no need to actually do this. And I don't know where the error occurred, I think it occurred there. Just redo it. Come on, still an error. Fine, call stack. Hmm, where does what happen? So, what's the extra? There we go. Results apply mask. Why do you mean source? Okay, fine, just redo it then. It complains if you change it. Uh, let's see, so that's the error. Oh, stool argument out of range. I think it's because I'm keeping some conversion somewhere that shouldn't be there. Oh, I know why, because the mask is in the bits and I need it as an... Um, oh, fuck me. Um, bits... No, can I do it the other way? Here we go, binary string, two U long, okay. So that works. So 
So we're gonna do uh, mask. Is there a con Lulu? So we might need that. Oh, it's actually, whoops, that'll be wrong. Still wrong, because it's 36. This is just a rerun. Probably still break, yeah. Can I just stop proper? Invalid. Um, actually, shouldn't it tell me? X1X. Oh, that's very wrong. What's going on here? It said 36 index. So index that mask. And then it count results. What the hell? What is going on here? How is this wrong? Why are you X1X? String results. Results I equals bits. Yeah. That's very strange. Because I'm fine with the error, because I can understand that happening. So I can also just do, just to be sure about what happens here, just to uh, out mask let's rerun it there we go I don't care uh what the hell what's going on here mask address what the fudge? I have no idea what's going on. Uh, stool inputs. Mask. Now use a hundred. But it's here, of course. Mask is nothing. So how is mask nothing? What is perms? Mutations, string S, mutation J. That's weird. So the permutation code is wrong. Which is fair, because we haven't tested that yet. But... It's spitting out garbage. Four JSON, so that should be one here. Because it just says mask. So it'll just be zero. So S string S I equals zero. So we go through the entire thing. And if it's an X, then we finish false, we make it one, we push it back, and then we make it zero, we put it put it back on there. I think we might not need to do this, but something still goes wrong here. So what I can do is make a breakpoint and just uh, rerun it. Mutation size four. Empty, empty, empty. It's all fucking empty. <laughs> okay, let's uh, take a look. I think the mask might be empty. Permutations? There's no permutation stuff? What the hell? How is that possible? What is else going on? Mask is value. Does the mask not get parsed properly? No, mask gets rid of written by mem, which then gets put to apply mask. That string. That string result is wrong. So let's stop there and just put a breakpoint here. Remove the one here, we don't need them for now. Because I assume this is where it goes wrong. 
Yeah, what are all these counts? That makes no sense. So four, oh. Didn't even try to write the code for all permutations. Wait, how did he do it then? Because the bit is gets set to nothing sometimes. That's the issue here. So yeah, that's all this, see this empty space? It's a bit, which is nothing because it doesn't get done properly. So how do I get a... Um, Um, so how do I do a 1 to 0, so let's do, that's the reason my solution, oh, wait, how do you do it then? Um, cpp int to char, let's just cast a char, okay, so one thing I want to check, what am I doing here again? Do I need to do this? Yes, because this is basically tells me, this just gives me a logical value. Oh god, are we going to do that? Yes, we're going to do that again. Nice. So we're going to do logical value and then cast that to a char. Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, nice. Look. Get a little smiley face there. It's completely wrong. Hey there. It's awful and I'm feeling sick and I want to finish this so I can go to bed. Um, well, something's going wrong here, that's for sure. Look, it's a nice smiley face. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's rerun this so we can get a little bit more information. Yeah, so these are all empty, and for some reason, this becomes a smiley face, and I don't know how, and it's great. I think it's because it doesn't get converted properly, because it, it, yeah, so I don't want to, um, oh, I know what's going wrong. Yeah, I see the issue. Because I need to get a... 1, 2, char? Single char into an int. No, I want the other way around. Char to string, but I need an int to char. The thing is, what they do is they... Give me the the int value into do an ASCII character. Is that what I want? Yeah, there we go. Zero plus I. This is disgusting. That looks better. Okay, stop having breakpoints, please. Just run it, see what happens. 208, that's correct, I think. 208, right? 208, 208, good. So let's remove some counting and then start try hamsters. And then we need to make sure we have everything set to the correct type, but I think that's not an issue here. So let's run it again. The code is fine. I had some very annoying bugs uh, earlier on where what happened is that um, I didn't do my conversion properly to... Um, where am I still counting? Here. Where I didn't do my conversion properly to uh, unsigned long longs, and I had integer overflow, and I fucking hated it, because it basically meant that I spent the better part of half an hour struggling with something that literally would have taken no time to fix. What are you doing? Oh, permutations, that's why. Only nine megabytes. We're done already calculating, by the way. This is just, just printing, which I don't need to do. It just shows you how many different values there are. Um. Oh fuck, is it gonna overflow again? Fuck, it's gonna overflow again, isn't it? Holy fucking shit, how many values are there? That's a lot of... It's already done, by the way. Oh, fuck it, no. Alright, fine, stop. Dude, don't do this then, just...
This is not gonna be right. I would sorry, I would not be surprised if this was not correct. Thank god it's correct. Oh, we're done. Didn't even get an integer overflow. Oh, what a fucking mess. This was awful. Also because I feel awful. I wish we could stop with the detriment of reading comprehension. Yeah. Mine takes 50 milliseconds, by the way. What's, um... Mine takes a lot slower. Uh, I think the permutation calculation stuff is pretty slow. As is this. Poison tea couldn't stop you. No, I'm stronger than, uh... What, what's his name? Navalny or something? A Russian political commentary. Let's clean the code up a bit. Wait, char bit is zero? Just, uh... Oh, it is fucking ugly. Don't, don't even, just don't at me. It is awful. I, I am, I am ill as, as in I am genuinely ill and I'm going to go to sleep after this. And I've had to write this in a, ugh. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, we're, we're done here. Oh, well, where's your solution? I just quickly want to take a look, see what, what would be the better way to do this. Let's see, I assume I'm like fourth or fifth today. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, I'm fourth. Wait, oh, I was faster with part one. What did it cost? Only my physical health. You caught a bug from CP. <clears throat> yeah, cyberpunk, not the other one. Ugh. Yeah, I was faster in part one, but I was slower in part two. Here, yeah, it took me... 13 minutes. Wait, what? Oh, we're looking at the wrong day. There we go. It took me 43 minutes and still more half an hour. But uh, hey, that, that includes the time that I was hanging over my toilet, so it doesn't count. Uh, yeah, still more, still more, still more. Day 14. I'm not sure if we want to attempt. It's It's not that bad. Let's see, That's line one equals a what? Stool, yeah, it's the line. That's the. Hey, look, this guy not even using the clearly better method of doing this. And for the bit size, you switch. So this is, I assume, just part two, right? I assume it's just part two. Uh, floating is this is a map of memory. Yeah, that is what I. Yeah, that's what I thought. So switch mask. Uh, case one address. Yeah, so this is the masking, which is fairly simple. Oh, when you can do one LL. Ah, oh, damn it, man. You just do this. Oh, of course you can do that. That's the same as otherwise. Yeah. That's a lot cleaner. Instead of the casting garbage that I did. Case X loading back. Push back I. Floating? What is flow? Floating is a vector of unsent long longs. And I, I, I is the permutations you have basically. <clears throat> Let's see. So yeah, for two to the power, it's all the options you have. And for... Yeah, the position of it. Yeah, of course, that's, I, I saw that. Also, why would you use an unsigned long long for the position? Is it needed later? It, do, it isn't, right? And not in that sense, at least. I guess it, it prevents conversion shenanig shenanigans. They said it was 36 bits. Yeah, yeah, sure, but you're saving the index here, which would just be an int because it'll just go from 0 to 35. Anyway, address is value. So that's the first. So. 
Yeah, exactly. It's well, the penny drop there. Uh, memory address is value. But shouldn't your address... Oh, you break as soon as you find a one. Break as soon as you find a one. Because then you set the bits. You set that bits. Switch mask. Okay, so it's a one. Hmm. Um. Wait, why do you break there? Oh, sorry, just break out of the switch. Of course, I'm stupid. You just, this way you just record. You just set the address. Yeah, you, you mask the address here. Um, and then you you get out of the loop, so that's fine. Four, yeah, I don't need four to... Because the amount of permutations you have, if you only have two options, is two to the power of how many options you have, so that's perfectly fine. Size the I is floating size. Then you it then you go through so four so per permutation for every bit you find if C and one So that's if it's even or odd. Bit shift to the I, so that's the position. Then you address So you flip, yeah, binary representation of combinations, you're right, that's smart. I was thinking about that, like, hey, I can probably just make it like a number and then just permutate that number, but I was, I just couldn't think. And the, the, the accumulating accumulator is better. I'm just gonna shamelessly copy this. I don't like, I, I think here is one of those occasions where it's, just do it. Do it. Basically, I hate computers. What a guy. Wait, why don't I have SCD accumulates? Oh, it's probably numeric, isn't it? Anyway, I want to add this because the current summation is super slow. Yeah, but it's bad. It's nicer. Turn it in a few seconds. Do it in release mode. So your... Your string... So it's pretty fast, but it's not not as fast. I wanna, I just wanna, just for comparison, I wanna just time this, because I'm pretty sure it'll be about a factor of five or six slower at the least. No, probably more like a hundred. Probably more like a hundred times slower. Because string crap is so fucking slow. This will count the counting as well. I should actually probably do uh, uh, unsigned. Yes, it's super slow. It means you're a worse programmer than me. Hamster, sorry. Sorry to break it to you. At least it's not making a new string every time like lesser. Um, I kind of do that. I don't... Well, I mean, yeah, I kind of do that, I think. Uh, sure, you wouldn't come up with that. I'll take a look at yours in a section, in a, in a second, just to make sure this fair works and it tells me how long. Now, what I what I do for my permutation, yeah, so it's 90 milliseconds. It's super slow. What was yours like? 30. So it's about. Didn't you want to lie down? Yeah, but I want to see what garbage hamster wrote. Anyway, the TLDR of my permutation method is simply um, for every X you find, change it, push it back. So you, you push the one permutation and you edit the zero in place. Yeah, I know there's a nice one. I won't take a look at those. There's a question I have when working for a company. Should I hard code some stuff and make it as fast or add generality? Make it run slower. 30 to 40. Yeah, so it's about three times. I expected my solution to be way, way slower, but I think 
I think the ops of the, the compiler optimizes quite a lot of stuff. The answer is both. Yeah. Do do as much optimization as is reasonable, in my opinion. Because if it also depends on how significant it is. Like and what what's what where it's used. For example, my plugins, no one cares about speed. Like they don't give a shit. Um, because they're used to programs that take ages to run. Like if the program that I wrote if it take, took half an hour to run, they wouldn't mind it. Yeah, you shouldn't optimize premature, do it afterwards. And I did that, and I was able to get my 30 minute implementation down to five minutes. But they wouldn't have cared if it was 10, for example. Let's see, but if you have a piece of code that's gonna get run like thousands of times, yeah, make sure it's fast. Anyway, where the hell's your permutation garbage? Hamster, can I just say that I really dislike the way you code? Like just as a general thing, Use functions, please. It's unreadable. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? <coughs> Why the fuck would you use random in here? For iron range, if it's six, use random ints. Oh, because if it's the same, you're just writing to the same value, so it overrides and it doesn't matter. That is disgusting. That is actually disgusting. Not bit shifting using two to the two to the power, that's that's awful. Yeah, if test not in out and mask and append it, oh, that is stuff like shitty input handling as well. Now, input handling you should do as generic as possible. The issue with input handling is that you need to assume that your users are buffoons and they'll input literally anything. And I have to start working on that this week as well with my project or input handling. I don't look forward to it. I have to fuck. I have to write fucking command line implementations those are awful because i have to manually handle it there's no library i can use like doing line one is a hey, yeah that's also just that's also pretty pretty awful see my my solution is clearly better so much better anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna call it here i'm gonna lie down um i i don't know when i'll be back don't catch the run i don't think it's rona I don't think... Oh, why did I open that? I don't think it's Rona. Go away. Oh, look. It's EU4 localization crap. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll just... I'll be back tomorrow with that with code for sure. So probably till then. I think I'm taking a day off after... How much, how much is it now? Probably only 50 hours. That's only 50 hours. Not even checking my code, suck it aftish. We'll check it tomorrow. Cheers.